happy Vlogmas day one. I'm excited. I'm really excited for Vlogmas. I feel like it's pushed a lot of creativity out of me and I'm just so pumped for this month. I am not gonna be vlogging every single day. Like there won't be an upload every single day of December, but I'm doing like 12 days of Christmas, what we're gonna call it, and well, I'm gonna call it Vlogmas, but that's kind of the idea. So I will upload at least 12 videos between now and Christmas. So that's the plan, or like throughout December, I don't know. I'm really pumped though. I have a lot of good content planned that I cannot wait. Lots of recipes, um, gift ideas, all of the things Christmas related, and you know, just a couple of vlogs like today. So also today, other than just vlogging, we're going to decorate the house for Christmas. So we're gonna take down the fall decor and try to get up as much Christmas as possible tonight. I'm really excited, but I also have to edit. So hopefully we'll get it all done. We'll see how it goes. Morgan is also picking up groceries for today and, or for the week. Um, so we'll do a little bit of meal prep and I'm gonna make a taco soup for lunch and bulk it up with lots of veggies. So that is what the plan is later. Right now, as you just saw, I dropped off some Black Friday through, you know, I guess not through Cyber Monday because today is Cyber Monday, but um, over the weekend, all the orders that came in over the holidays and sent those out except for the planning kits, like the bundles. Um, we got home late last night and I was packaging everything and I just couldn't figure out the best way to package them and I was having a little bit of a meltdown. Morgan lit candles and I went to the bath. I just went and took a bath. I was like really losing it for some reason. Um, I think I was just tired and it wasn't working and it's really hard um, packaging stuff that isn't really the same size. So like my meal planners and notepads, easy to package. Throw them in a bubble mailer, we're good to go, simple. Packaging a mug with planners, a little bit harder because you have to have a box big enough for the mug, um, but then you have a lot of extra room and that is where I was having an issue. But I thought it over, I figured it out and I'm headed to Target to get a couple things that I need to make the packaging. You know what I want the mug bouncing everywhere? It's obviously in its own box and it's bubble wrapped and it's very, I would be so shocked if it ever showed up broken anywhere because I wrapped it like really well. Um, but there's like extra space, you know, so it would just be flopping around and I'm trying to fill up that space. I don't want to use packing peanuts. One, I feel like that's a waste of money. Two, um, nobody wants that in their life. Like nobody wants to open a box with a bunch of packing peanuts. That's just God awful. Also, nobody wants to be pulled out in front of, bam. So anyways, I figured it out. I'm gonna go to Target and I'm gonna get some packing paper and some more tissue. And I'll show you guys later, if I remember, to show you the packaging of the planning kits and those will be mailed out tomorrow. So I'm super excited. Those are gonna be great. I need to figure out like what my last possible day to order prior to Christmas would be, but I feel like my planning kits are a really good Christmas gift because you get to choose a, a weekly tracker or a large meal planner. So it would be like if somebody doesn't meal plan, you could get them the weekly to-do tracker and it's just like a Monday through Sunday. You get, you know, a block for every day of the week to write a to-do list. And then you have like your notes and, you, and your don't forget spot at the bottom try to post a picture right here of what I'm talking about and I'll link the planning kit and my whole store for you down below um but you get to pick between that and a meal planner if you know somebody's really trying to get um organized in January or maybe they're starting a weight loss journey or any type of health journey maybe they want to start meal planning that would be good it also comes with my to do after coffee checklist which I think is just perfect for everybody um or at least anybody that drinks coffee <laughs> a rose gold pen that is so cute and my new mug, which says this is my planning mug. And I just think it's just like fun and cute. So I'm really excited about it. And I think y'all are too. I sold a few of them. So excited about that. And it will stay. It's, I think it's, I've kind of marketed, marketed it as a planning bundle, but true or a Christmas bundle, but truly it's just like a planning kit, you know. Okay. It's cyber Monday. Why is everybody at the target? Can we not? Honestly, the best part about COVID, probably the only good part about COVID is that um, places are empty and I live for that. It makes me so happy. Um, oh, we have been, are y'all cities out of toilet paper and paper towels again? Hmm, cause ours is and it is 
a freaking nightmare. Also, sorry, I just realized these glasses are so glare. They have such a glare. I apologize. It's probably really annoying to look at. Wow, just wasted five minutes of my video with glare glasses on. These are actually, um, I'm wearing contacts, but these are blue light blocking glasses. I got a three pack from Amazon. I'll link them for you down below. I'm obsessed. It comes with a black pair, like black rims. That's these, um, a clear rim and then like a tortoise rim. So there's three different pairs. Very inexpensive. I want to say like under $15, maybe like 12. I can't remember exactly. I'm obsessed. I have the other two at home and I brought these to wear at work and I think they look really cute with my little bun thing. I feel like, are those clips coming back in style? I really hope so because I just feel like it completes the look. So far I've had my iced coffee with cold brew and <clears throat> Quest protein. The cool brew is just like an espresso dupe. It's just like a pre-made espresso. I get it at Whole Foods. Um, guys, bright. <clears throat> these are also from Amazon, by the way. I can link these for you too. Morgan loves these. He calls them my hot girl glasses. <laughs> he like, I don't know, thinks I look really hot in them, I guess. I think that's really hilarious. Um, but anyways, I'm about to head in to Target. Gonna get packing paper because I need to package up the planning kit bundles. And I'll see you when I get out. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Okay, struck out a little bit at Target. They did not have packing paper. I guess this one doesn't carry it, but the one by my house does. So, I mean, they're gonna stop there or at Home Depot on the way home, because I know for sure Home Depot has it. But I needed a calendar for work, and um, I just love this one, and they only had two left, and I was worried it was gonna be gone. So it was $11.99 just looks like that it's just like a monthly calendar and it's like long instead of they're usually horizontal I just thought that was so cute and like simple and plain and I just I like it so I did pick up that and then I got a couple bags of the Kringle paper which I put inside my mugs right now I just have white but I really like the craft style so I picked that up since I wasn't able to find that at Dollar Tree and then I picked up a couple carbonated waters um, this one cherry limeade flavor I haven't ever tried this thing I'm gonna try it today I'm just gonna pour it over ice 79 cents so we'll see how that one was I really wanted the cherry limeade because they didn't have the squirt the Mio stuff um, in that flavor and then I've never seen the pomegranate dragon fruit so I picked up that one to keep at work for me I bought some today at HEB2 that Morgan's gonna pick up but that's really more for home um, so I picked up that as well, but it's already 1240 time is a fall in and I'm going to go to work, go back to work and eat really quick. I'm starving. I packed a really quick meal prep last night. I'm really trying to just get back to business back on track. I have been really loosely tracking like a couple days a week. Um, obviously the holidays were crazy before that I was eating out a little bit more than usual. Um, just, you know, eating a lot of Reese's. I will say I've been on a Reese's kick. Um, and honestly a lot of Cokes, like Coke Zeros. I've been picking up a lot and not that those are necessarily bad. I'm like a huge, you know, advocate for like, it's okay to drink diet soda. Um, but I was just having a lot and I used to not drink that many. So like Let's just go back to not drinking that many, you know? So trying to stock up on the carbonated water. So I wanted to pack, since I didn't have groceries yesterday, I still wanted to pack a lunch. 
and I bought um, some of those turkey meatballs, the pre-cooked ones from Trader Joe's last week, which came in clutch. So I packed four of those and um, four meatballs, and then I cooked up the rest of the chickpea pasta that I had. Um, we had like a half jar of marinara, and which me and Morgan split, um, and I added some frozen spinach. So I have a pasta with marinara, spinach, and turkey meatballs. It's like going to be the perfect lunch. I already have it pre-tracked. I think it's like 500 something calories, but it has 40 grams of protein because of the meatballs, the turkey meatballs, and the pasta. So yay for that. I'm going to go eat that. I'll try to remember to video it. Almost finished with this Yeti of water, and I'm going to replace it with my sparkling water and try to get through that plus a regular water, another one. So I'll have three Yetis in before I leave work, ideally. Which is about 60 ounces since I have ice in there. They only hold about 20 ounces. So, headed to work. I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, y'all, here is our HEB grocery haul. I actually got a couple things from Target, so I'll point those out. But we'll start over here. This is the milk that Morgan likes to drink. He puts it in smoothies, he drinks it. Um, we use it for overnight oats. That's what we use. Um, this is Morgan's creamer. This I had to pick up at Target because I forgot to buy both of us creamer and I did find the sweet and creamy. So many of y'all recommended that on Instagram. So I'm going to give that a try. I'm excited. I love, I think I just got the vanilla one or whatever last time. Obsessed. Really good. Then I also got some yogurts. So I like the blended kind. Oh, whoops. So we've got 130 calories, five grams. Oh, only five grams of protein. I should have looked at that. Usually I like the ones that are like 13 grams, but that's okay. Then also at a Target, I picked up these vanilla bean sandwiches, 100 calories, and some of the cookies and cream bars. I really like these. I've had them before. Just a good, easy um, dessert at night when you're, you know, getting that sweet tooth. Then as far as like produce and vegetables, I got the three, um, like the tricolor pepper, peppers with onions frozen. I'm going to put that in my taco soup, probably about half of it. I also got this frozen Mediterranean blend. It has a lot of stuff like carrots, green beans, zucchini, um, cauliflower. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to try to roast that. We'll see. Um, I got a dozen eggs. We have eggs already, but I feel like we might need some extra. Some baby spring mix and romaine that I'm going to mix together in my little salad keeper in the fridge for salads this week. Um, I got some taco seasoning for the taco soup that I'm going to make. Some brown rice to have with dinner. And then I also got the Spanish style one. Some wasa crackers. I really like the sourdough ones. These are only 30 calories per cracker. And they're you know, about this size and really thin. I really like them. So I got those, some carrots. I didn't buy the organic ones. That was a like trade out because they didn't have the ones I got. So I got organic carrots for like 84 cents. Yay. Uh, that's going to be snack. I also got some zucchini, which I'm going to throw into the taco, uh, the taco soup, some ground turkey for the taco soup, two packs of chicken tenders. We're going to cook up a package of those tonight. We really like that for easy grab and go dinner to just have on hand, um, you know, in the fridge. It keeps well as well. And then we have some corn for the taco soup, a big thing of diced tomatoes for the taco soup. I love extra tomato. I'm probably also going to add a can of Rotel, which I already have in the pantry. I have black beans in the pantry that will go in the soup. I had to get some dark red kidney beans. I got some basil pesto for my chicken for the week. And I think that that's everything. So the plan is pesto chicken with vegetables and rice. And then also chicken on a salad. Um, it's like dinner ideas, maybe a mix of all of those. You know, we'll just see how it goes. Carrots for snack. Wasa crackers with tuna for snack. I already have tuna. We've got yogurts for snack, you know, that's the whole haul. Okay, y'all, this is what we're going to need for taco soup. This is going to be my lunch prep for the week. Maybe have it for dinner tonight or one night. We'll see. But you're going to need a pound of ground turkey or chicken or beef or whatever you like. I just got the ground turkey. You're going to season that with taco seasoning and cook that up first. I'm also going to add the peppers and onions to this while it's cooking, I think. 
Um, a packet of ranch or a couple tablespoons of ranch seasoning really helps the soup, so that's what I like to do along with the taco seasoning packet. I'm going to add zucchini this time, which I usually don't do, just to bump up the vegetables. I also usually don't add these, but again, bump it up the vegetables. We've got some corn, a can of mild Rotel. I still think it turns out a little bit spicy, even with the mild, so, you know, do whatever your spice level likes can of black beans, actually two cans, but usually I do one can of black, one can of pit kidney, no, one can of black, one can of uh, pinto, and then one can of kidney. But this time I'm just gonna use two black beans because I already had it, and then I just picked up some kidney beans and then a huge thing of diced tomatoes. You don't need this, you could use a regular size can. I just love tomatoes, so we're using the big one. But that is everything you're gonna need. And yeah, let's do cookies. So for this recipe, you just want to start by chopping up all of the vegetables you're using. For me, that was just the zucchini. Then get your meat browning. I used ground turkey, a little olive oil. Then I went ahead and dumped in those peppers and onions. I used frozen, but you can totally use fresh. Whatever you have is great. Um, once I get that browned up, I add in salt, pepper, the taco seasoning, mix that all together. And then I just dump in the rest of the ingredients, let it simmer for 20 minutes, and you're done. Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is falling It will always be Christmas Okay, I had to make it pretty so I could get a picture to put in the blog post. Um, but you're just going to mix everything together. And I've got a lot more zucchini to add. So I'm gonna salt and pepper one more time. Then go in with the ranch seasoning. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Trader Joe's chili seasoning, totally optional. But it's a really good winter, fall soup spice, love it. All right, y'all, the soup has been simmering. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I think we are gonna have some for dinner because as you can see, this made a huge massive pot i'm so excited okay y'all we're about to put up oh okay y'all we're about to put up the tree in the corner i'm so excited i even changed into a christmas shirt holiday cheermeister i got this at dillard's like three years ago it's the brand um jade lynn brook jade lynn brook i'm not sure but very cute. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long, we're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Hey. So we are sitting down for dinner. We have our taco soup. It is so good. Highly recommend throwing in all the extra veggies, whatever veggies you like. Zucchini, you can hardly even taste. Extra tomato, peppers, whatever. Um, you could even do like sweet potato if you're into that. I'm not a huge sweet potato person, but I feel like that could work in here. Seriously delicious. I'm so excited. We have our Christmas tree up. I can't find the, the, the tree skirt. I need to think about where that could be. But I also, with the soup, am having two of the wasa crackers because we don't have any tortilla chips, and it's really good. Morgan, do you have thoughts on the soup? Oh, sorry. yeah, it's wrong. No, you're fine. It's good. It's um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just got a lot of flavor. Yeah, it does, it's right? Really perfect for cold evening dinner. Perfect. We love it. It's also great with sour cream, also great with cheese. Um, that's usually how I eat it is with like sour cream, but we don't have any right now. It's delish. 10 out of 10 in my book. Yeah, for sure. Super good. Okay, we'll talk to you later.